I am Kirk Lombard, and uh, I'm sort of an intertidal harvester of stuff. The tide is coming in now. It's been coming in for about 15 minutes, so I want to get out to the, uh, to the clam beds. So we're going to go out a little closer to the jetty, where we have some direct flow from the ocean, and try to get some big horse neck clams. What I'm doing is I'm using the tube. The clam tube is to keep the, you know, the structure of the walls from caving in on you as you dig. This clam, it's in a fixed location three feet down, but its neck stretches all the way to the surface where it feeds and poops. It takes a long time just to get one. I'm feeling for the tip of that siphon that we, that I saw, oh, there it is. So there's the tip of the siphon. I gotta go down. I gotta go deeper. Come, come to bed. Oh, why do you want? Oh. My arm's stuck. Wouldn't you know? I, I got him. A euphemistically titled creature, if ever there was one. Okay. All right, we're good. Very, very quiet. Whale hunting. There's a clam. Got him. Dude, I found a whole bed of razor clams in. Uh, okay, I need you to look up the razor clam regulations. Okay, that's it, right? You gotta run, brother. You bailed me, thank you. I love that guy. He was um, nearly bitten in half by a great white shark. He got, uh, I, I say that, but he got his arm, his leg, his torso. But uh, it left him just enough limbs to be able to continue killing fish, which he does in a sort of Ahabian manner. Monkey face eels are kind of like closeted vegans that are actually sitting around in their house waiting for a cheeseburger. And here I'm offering them squid. Dinner time. Aren't you tired of eating kelp? Eel. Eel. This is called a rock prickleback. That's, that's one of the more uh, coveted species out here. They're considered to be um, highly, highly delicious. I'm so oh, happy right now. No, I'm not digging anymore, but I want to uh, check one thing before we go. I summon thee from the deeps. I am Fish Whisperer. This is not a monkey face eel, this is a rock eel. It doesn't have quite the same grin. And then over here, we've got some pretty nice... Uh, <clears throat> oh my! I am Camilla Lombard, fishwife, married to Kirk Lombard. He goes and, and catches the unsung heroes of the fish world and I cook them up. All right, so we have three big nice pieces of bacon we're going to start off with, fry that up in a pan. Basically saute an onion, a couple pieces of celery, two carrots, all chopped up in uh, delicious bacon fat. Can't go wrong with that. What are you doing over here? Cutting the adductor muscle of the clam. Ooh. 
Then we pull it all out. Ta-da. Mmm, doesn't that look appetizing? Give me some background music, babe. I'd hammer out a mollusk. I'd hammer out a clam. I'd make myself a chowder all over this land. land. And let's um, fillet this eel. Okay. So what we got here is my special three clam and one eel clam chowder. Into the jaws of death. Mm, the jaws of death. <laughs> the jaws of delicious. Just, now we just, I guess, play more music. Yeah. In Dublin, fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she pushed her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, and alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh. Fishmonger, and no one mm. could blame her. Clam. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Horse necks and razor clams alive, alive. This is really good. Oh! You didn't think I could hit that note. <laughs> I think so. Thank you, Pacific Ocean. Yeah.